say fuck it, might as well. I say fuck it, might as well. Good morning, good morning, good morning, people. What's up? What's up? Nah, for real. It's 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 been a little minute for real. Um good morning to the people. Uh appreciate y'all for rocking with me this morning, man. Another wake and bake. It's been a, a couple months since I did my last one, but um Yeah, I mean I'm not even gonna sit up here and lie to y'all. Life been happening. Um and we're gonna get into that, but Again, I want to say good morning, good morning, good morning three times for the people, my people, yeah, shit, we here another day, shit be, you know, shit getting real weird out here in the world, as I keep saying, but we still here, and we still here to witness this bullshit, um, and I ain't gonna lie, um, being alive is pretty cool, most of the time, so, <laughs> Look, we just blessed to be here and be able to, you know, witness witness this shit, man. Um, yeah, this this morning's wake and bake. This is probably the worst world J I've rolled in a long time, but this morning's wake and bake is coming to you via via. If y'all don't know, via V I A is through, brought to you by. So, uh, this is being brought to you through. I'm smoking through a grab leaf I mean, so that's why i look like this is all nasty looking and yeah this shit bad hey you see i had to bite off the edge of it because it had holes in it and shit man it's at least grab a leaf but let's get back on subject so jay hen what's been going on with you where the fuck have you been why you been mia you don't you've only done what one car conversation in the past two months probably not even any wake and bakes none of that what's been going on with your life well i tell you what's been going on not a damn thing not a damn thing bro i hit a wall and i'm not i'm just i'm, I'm just i like to keep it a buck when i'm on here because you know I want everything to be genuine. So when I say I hit a wall, literally meant I hit a wall. Like, okay, let's not say literally. Let's say I hit a figurative wall, okay? The lack of motivation. I hit a little <coughs> depressive stomp. I don't really like to throw the depression word around simply because um, I feel like sometimes people may use that as an excuse. And being depressed is, to me, is no, is not an excuse. You got to be able to fight through that shit. And, you know, with shit happening in the world, shit happening in my life, and it really ain't, it's fuck the world because I don't give a fuck about the world. Like, if we if we being honest, I mean, fuck the world. I I mean I I got enough problems going on in my own day. You know what I'm saying? To be worried about the fucking news, nigga. I'm trying to survive out here. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, man, it's 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 man. I got into a mood where I I, I said fuck it again. Um, you know. I said, fuck it. I didn't think I was going to do this again, for real. I didn't think I was going to... I said, fuck the car conversations. I said, fuck the wake and bakes. Fuck all this shit, because really, what is this shit doing for me? Right? Because you know when a nigga get mad, that's what he do. Man, fuck all this shit, man. This shit ain't working no way. Like, you know what I'm saying? This shit's stupid. Why, why am I even sitting here and, and talking to a fucking camera? Like, Why? But I ain't gonna lie Everybody needs somebody in life Everybody needs somebody in life Who's literally gonna, gonna come through Okay, let me, let me not say literally 
who's going to come through and kick him in the ass figuratively. <coughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm not one of the people who can stay super motivated a lot of the times without getting a kick in the ass because I get in those funks where I'm like, man, ain't nobody watching this shit. No way. Why the fuck am I even doing this? You know what I'm saying? Why? Like, and then, you know, you know, and what make you go there is the, th the like I said, the shit you going through in life. So you just sitting there like, man, whatever, like fuck this shit. And I didn't have any motivation to get out here and talk. I didn't have any motivation to throw the camera up and talk to you niggas, man. Life happening. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's therapy in a way. Uh, so, and I'm a big component of, I've already quit enough shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so fuck it. Like, I can't quit this. I done started it. I got a whole, like, I'm, I'm, I'll be feeling like I'm too deep in to just stop. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. I'm here. But back to the kicking the ass. My cut hey, big shout out to my cousin, uh, my cousin Lil Mike, Michael, YP Michael, whatever the fuck you want to call him. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to my cousin, bro. We was on the phone last night and he was like, Yeah, man. Yeah, why you ain't been doing no car conversations, no waking bakes? Like, what what you doing? And I'm like, man, I'm gonna be honest, because he he knows what the fuck going on. So he like, man, you know, yeah, I'm I'm like, man, I, I just don't I don't have any motivation, dog. This sh these shits don't be like doing numbers no way like that. So why am I even and here I go. Like I said, I always talk about comparing yourself to other people and I tell y'all I'm not perfect. I fall victim to that shit sometimes. Yeah, I can preach, yeah, you can't be you can't be comparing yourself to other people. You can't be, but it's hard. Sometimes in the society we live in, it's hard not to, man. So he just really gave me a reality check. He like, hey man, what you doing? And I'm like, man, I ain't, I ain't been having no motivation. I ain't been feeling like it, man. I'm like, man, fuck this shit. This shit don't be doing numbers no way. And he just like, all right, man. So go left. And like, like, and he, and he was like, all right. So let's go look at the numbers. I'm like, yeah, let's go look at the numbers. So I go look at the numbers of my Wake and Bake videos and everyone besides one pretty much did as well as, you know, my other videos did with, with, with people. So he was like, see, man, like, you know, my cousin, y'all know my cousin talk, y'all know how he talk, but he, he funny. Come on, man, like, see, man, you, you, you're good. You need to. You gonna what you gonna do is get your ass up in the morning. And you gonna go out there and you gonna sit down and do it and, and do a um a wake and bake in the morning. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do in the morning. And we literally sat on the phone and just came up with some subjects to talk about, um, bro, which was really cool. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> because. <coughs> Because, like I said, I'm not the type of person who can be motivated off of, you know, sometimes I need a little extra motivation. I get down on myself. I get down on what I'm doing. And I just get to a point where I'm just like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? So it takes somebody like him to come in, somebody who really fuck with me to come in and be like, bro, what you, like, he, he noticing. He's like, bro, what you doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? So... Them people who you have that that's gonna check you, and I I, I was listening to million dollars uh million dollars worth of game. Shout out to Gilly and the Wallow. People always um see checking as a bad thing, and checking is not a bad thing. People, checking is a form of correcting. Shout out to Wallow. I mean, shout out to Gilly. So checking is a form of correcting. So if you uncheckable. Then people probably shouldn't fuck with you, bro. Straight up. So I had to sit there and take my little ass kicking and, and you know, sitting here feeling sorry for myself because of what's going on. But life don't stop. It never does, bro. Yeah, you can sit up there and lay up and be depressed about what the fuck going on. But life is never going to stop. It's going to keep on going. You know what I'm saying? And you just going to keep on laying in that bed and letting time pass you by. And that's going to be what it is. 
Now it's gonna be shoulda, coulda, woulda's. And we don't want that, do we? The least, the least, shit, the least I can do is try. That's it. All right, people, enough about me. What's been going on? Oh, it's a lot of shit that's been going on. And Travis Scott, I'm not gonna talk about that because that's old. That shit was crazy. I ain't gonna lie, I made a mistake thinking that Travis could be capable of something like this. I'm gonna just speak on it briefly. I said I wasn't gonna speak on it, I know. But I just wanna issue an apology to Travis Scott. Because I'm on, I, I'm all online with it saying, yeah, Travis Scott, man, that demonic shit, blase squase, when maybe he had nothing to do with that shit. And you wouldn't be able to know because of the way they were advertising it. Like, damn, why is it? Why are they? Why is he advertising it like this? And this means this and this. This means, you know what I'm saying? Putting all the, you know, the ducks in a row. But why? Why should it? Why? I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, I'm just going to say, I'm sorry, Travis Scott, for blaming you for this, bro. I don't know if you had shit to do with it. I really don't know. Don't give a, I mean, I do care because it's, people die, but you know, you know. I'm, but I'm sorry, Travis Scott, for blaming you for this, bro. It could have been some shiesty ass white people. Who knows? Anyway, let me, so, um, what else been going on? Uh, School shooting, another one. Dog, it's so funny, man. Um, my uh, my partner Andre, when I found out, when the pictures came out of the little boy who shot up the school in Michigan or whatever, whatever, wh wherever it was, I don't know where it was. When the pictures came out of the little boy who uh shot up the school, I immediately screenshotted the picture. Zoomed in on the little boy's face and, and texted Andre Like Why do school shooters Always look like this guy And then I tweeted after that Oh shit I need some water God damn This grabber be hitting y'all boy You see I got that thing fat too Woo Woo You take me a little sip of water real fast Like Yeah, man. So, uh, so, uh, yeah. And I immediately tweeted after that. Yeah, we be going to school scared of gang violence, scared of yeah this. When the whole time we need to be scared of this nigga, little Timmy, little, little, little Timothy from down the street with the glasses, who everybody just you know everybody fuck with. Everybody always fucking with little Timothy. He a lame ass little nigga. He probably a nerd. He probably watch anime or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Probably a little small little dude. Can't really defend himself like that. Y'all be scared of the niggas who will whoop your ass. You need to be scared of the niggas who can't whoop your ass. Because them the niggas, this, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. It ain't never no no Darnells or no Jacobis or no fucking Jamals or, or no uh, Juliuses it's just, that's gonna come and shoot the school up. Them ain't the niggas that we need to be scared of. See, everybody be threatened by niggas that look like me. Taller black dudes, a bigger stature. Everybody when a when a big black dude walks in the room, everybody head gonna turn like this. Everybody gonna look at him. Trust me, I'm a I'm a taller black dude, and people are always looking at me when I walk in the room. So that's a, and I I already got that. Y'all y'all want to see my 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 resting face? This, that's my resting face. So you think I'm walking into a room looking like that? Niggas don't know me. People gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, nah. We ain't the ones you need to be scared of. You need to be scared of little Timothy, being raised by both his parents, whose dad is the cop. Whose dad is a cop or ex-military or some shit. That's who you need to be scared of. Little Timothy gonna come and fuck some shit up. Y'all keep fucking with I'm telling you. Y'all keep fucking with little Timothy. And 
supposedly, man, and, man, and it was it was due to bullying. Um, yeah, it was due to bullying. Um, so this bullying is a hard subject for me because. Bullying does not stop when you leave school. Bullying continues in the workforce. Trust me. I'm seeing it. You ever go work at a warehouse with some niggas? Oh. Oh, oh it don't stop. Everybody gonna be ranking on your ass. And when I tell you the whole, the whole little squad, oh yeah, that shit don't stop. See, people... The thing I need I need y'all to understand is you will never ever be able to protect somebody from bullying. Now there's a there's a there's a line to that because when we talk about physical violence, then that's a little different. You know, that I don't I don't really approve of physical bullying. That yeah, who yeah, I don't approve that shit. I don't fuck with that. But what I'm saying is verbal. That shit is not going to stop. Ever. So the fact that people always talk about bullying this and bullying that. I mean, if we look at bullying, bullying been going on since. Ever. Nobody ever. I mean, you you did call it. You call a person a bully, but you never call it bullying. Bullying is a whole thing now. Stop the bullying. Stop the bullying. No. Nigga, maybe, maybe your child just need to grow a pair of nuts and learn how to rank. You know? I don't know. I look at it from a couple of different ways because bullying makes you tough. Bullying is going to do one of two things. It's going to make you rise up and attack the bullier. Or you're going you gonna to bow down and wish you and, you, and, and, and respect the bully. I ain't saying either way is right or wrong. But what I'm saying is you find out what kind of person you are through bullying. So to tell somebody, you know, they kids, kids going to do that. Kids gang up on, you know what I'm saying? It's, you can't, it's, it's, it's just a little slippery slope right there, man. But I'm old school. I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to grow up in the era before cell phones, before the internet wasn't, well, I mean, the internet was coming up, but the internet wasn't the internet. The internet wasn't like it was. So I'm fortunate enough to grow up before, I ain't going to say before cell phones, but before smartphones, before all the kids had cell phones. I'm, I still remember that era. And it was, a t even in the 90s, 20 years ago, 20, it was a tough, it, we, we had to be a little tougher. Our parents were able to let us go outside and go to the park and shit like that. And, you know, wasn't able to communicate with us like that too. You know what I'm saying? So we we a different breed. These kids, man. Woo! Look, I ain't saying they soft, but they soft as hell. You know what I'm saying? And we as parents got to realize that we can't protect them from everything. Physical bullying is one thing, like I said. But verbal, now nah, these just like fuck it. Everybody got guns. These niggas talking about me, I'm about to go and kill that nigga. So that's what makes me kind of put me in that space where it's like, oh, okay, well, bullying, maybe that shit do need to, you know, because these jits is really built different these days. Jit ain't give a fuck about going, going to, he, did, he ain't give a fuck about that. Going to jail, none of that. But I tell you what, this is exactly what I said on Twitter. I said, look, yeah, bullying is bullying is, is is horrible, right? Yeah, for sure. And this isn't verbatim. Shut the fuck up, okay? It, it, this isn't verbatim. I'm just telling you my my logic, okay? Bullying is definitely bad. You know, physical, verbal, all that. Yeah, his feelings might have been hurt, but at, when he get to jail, the way this the way this young man look, yeah, you you gonna have you you gonna either join the Aryan Brotherhood, which he looked like the type of cracker that'll do some shit like that. Either you gonna join the Aryan Nation, or your butthole gonna be hurting. It's probably gonna be both. Gonna be somebody bitch up in jail. So yeah, bullying, bullying bad, but jail is worse. 
So uh, to all my children out there, all my kids, my teens who feel like, <coughs> who feel like, yeah, um, yeah, like, who ready to foul out? Who ready to foul out about some shit? By, by, by the little teasing and the little, you know, people talking about you and shit like that. I'm telling you, jail ain't where you want to be, homie. Look, and I ain't even never been there. But I'm just listening to stories and that shit ain't where you want to be, bro. See, I've been listening to the million dollars worth of game lately. And especially for Wallow because Wallow be giving game about the penitentiary, as he calls it. So it's like, I've never been there. I don't plan on going there, but I do want to, I'm curious. I want to know what goes on, as anybody else does. So hearing the shit that goes on, I'm like, bro, ain't no way I'm finna, man, if a nigga join in my ass, man, I'm just, okay, you got it for the day. But if you better go home and write some jokes down, little nigga. Something. Clown the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Go home, put your child in some damn fighting classes or whatever you got to do. But God damn, the shoot up of school, the shoot, the kill people. And the crazy thing is, bro, what killed me was a football player got killed. You know, that's going to that's gonna resonate a little closer to me because JIT was just on a, uh, four days before the shooting, a JIT was on a visit to Toledo. You know what I'm saying? That man about to go D1. And he trying to stop a school shooter get killed. Shit crazy, bro. She crazy, man. Hey, all I'm going to say is, I guess all that to say, kids and parents, we got to, we got to, we can't be raising no pussies, dog. We can't be raising no, we can't, like, and society is making us that way. Society is making us that way. So, I can't even... I can't even, that's, and that's why, I, what I feel about this, dep that depression shit, yeah, it's, it's something, but that's, it's a real diagnosis, I'm not knocking depression, but you can't let that shit be a crutch, bro, that's the same thing with bullying, you can't let that shit, you can't let that shit be a crutch, man, throw some nuts, we ain't raising no bitches out here, like, that shit don't stop, bullying does not stop, it does not stop, it's just different forms of it. It does not stop, bro. And you can ask anybody in the workforce. You got bosses that bully people. My damn head coach in college was a fucking bully. Uh, that's what. That's all I'm saying. <coughs> that shit does not stop, bro. That shit does not stop. So grow some nuts. Um, what the fuck else been going on? Hey, uh, real quick. Um, I didn't know, bro, at all. Um, I didn't. Never seen him a day in my life. Didn't even know he was from Jacksonville, right? Otis Anderson, a fellow UCF Knight. Rest in peace, For fellow Duval County native. Rest in peace, man. Um, bro, it's not a lot of us. It's a whole lot of us that go to college out of Jacksonville, man. It's a whole lot of us, nigga. We had 13 or 12, 13 in my school go D1. You know how many of us made it to the league? None of us made it to the league. So to to get out of Jacksonville and make it is is a just wonderful, bro. This man was thriving in at in LA dog, doing well. And for it to be for his life to be taken like that, man, by the person who helped, you know, raise him and, and, and played part in a, you know, you know, came out. You know, he came out that man not second and fought to go down like that, man. For you to be taken out by your own family, dog, over something so small, which I don't know. You know, we only get the story that they tell us, but we don't know what the fuck else was going on. Now, I, now let me give you a disclaimer. I ain't taking bro side at all. But what I'm saying is we saying something small, but we don't know what else was going on. We really don't. So, from the reports... You know, it sound like a dog bite and some argument, but that ain't my business. All I'm going to say is rest in peace, Otis Anderson, bro. Fellow UCF Knight, fellow Duval native, rest in peace, bro. 
And this man had, you can tell this man had such a big impact on, you know, in UCF, dog, because, you know, like I said, I didn't know. But it seems like he, he was just a good guy. And it was dope that he came up in the era of UCF that they were able to actually show their personalities. The man on the field with gold teeth in his mouth. Like, dope, dog. So it just, it was, it was just good to see that, you know, people showing him love and, but it's, it's it's really it's a really sad situation. So I ain't gonna really speak too much on it. But rest in peace, oldest man. Yeah, your soul gonna live forever. And you 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 a legend, brother. All right. So let's get down to the last thing of of the uh, this last talking point. Nah, this thing This is gonna be my last talking point of, of this of this waking bait. Alright? And I'ma just leave it here. Uh so apparently it's been something going on. Uh people talk somebody said uh he didn't know what was going on with these women today, but they think it's okay for a for the for them to buy their son. A kitchen set for Christmas. So I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at all the, all the, you know, you know, I like to read, I like to read and see what other people are thinking. You know what I'm saying? And I already have my opinion. I don't do that because I have my opinion, but I like to see what other people. I, I just like to see what 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 people. You know, I, I'm I'm not knocking anybody's opinion because their opinion is their opinion. It's not right or wrong. But I'm going to just say, yeah, I like to read people's comments because it's, you know, just to see what, just pick other people's brains, see what other people thinking about it, right? Um, And the the funny thing I saw was a gay dude, um, I, I I don't really remember uh, where where I heard this from. But somebody, somebody told me that a gay dude said, yeah, I didn't grow up with a kitchen set. And, uh, well, you know. <laughs> so... Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give my opinion about this thing, man. Um, how the fuck is a kitchen set gay? Have no fucking clue. At six years old, at five years old, at three years old, you think a nigga thinking about gay or not, nigga? I'm putting my imagination into play to work, nigga. I'm I'm sitting here, nigga, watching my mama. You know, make hot dogs and cook shit. Shit, I see her do it. Shit, I'm gonna go and cook on my little play set too. I had a fucking kitchen set. I'm pretty sure every kindergarten across the land has a play set, has a kitchen set in their fucking classroom. Every pre-K, daycare, all that shit. I'm sure they all have kitchen sets. Most of them at least. You played with a kid. I'm sure I'm sure you niggas have played with a kitchen set before, not even knowing. Don't even remember it because you too. You too young to remember that. I will say this. The world is definitely changing. A kitchen set wasn't something to buy little boys back in the 90s, early 2000s. Niggas didn't, from what I know, I'm just saying every every little boy's house that I went over, I ain't never seen no kitchen set in the motherfucker. You see cars, cars, you see balls, you see basketball hoops, you see guns, you see dinosaurs, shit like that. And I'm speaking of experience because I do now have little boys. You know what I'm saying? I've never even thought about buying my son a kitchen set. I just never thought about it. But would I be opposed to buying him one? Mm, probably not. Because like I said, my son comes over here with us and he plays with it Jaron plays with the kitchen set from his big sister you know what I'm saying so my thing is I don't think a, I don't think a kitchen set is is gonna make a boy feminine it's just gonna really feed his imagination that's what kids do like niggas forget that they were kids bro do you know do you know the shit that you you don't even know half the shit that you used to do when you were a kid, dog. So it's like, how, 
how the fuck is a kitchen set gay? Like, wh what? how does that even contribute to making a feminine man? No, kids do what they see. They do what they see, bro. <coughs> I don't know, man. I, niggas be weird, bro. Niggas be really weird. It's so funny, though, because everybody be trying to make everything a gay thing or a masculine thing or a feminine thing. What? I, dog. What? It's kids, bro. They're kids. They're they're using their imagination. Oh yeah, you you niggas used to play house. Don't act like you ain't niggas. You niggas ain't never played house before. Acting like you going to the store getting something to eat. Yeah, I'm going to the grocery store. I'm about to hop in the car. You get the pillow or some shit, the plate. You acting. You sitting on the bed acting like you driving the whip and shit. You come on, dog. Stop playing with me. You niggas is real. It's real funny, bro. You niggas is... I don't give a fuck what you tell me. You can't tell me you ain't never played make-believe before. Play, play. Whatever you used to call it. House. Uh, uh, I don't know. Mama, daddy. You can't... You niggas can't tell me you ain't never played that shit before. Come on, bro. I don't know, bro. You niggas is weird, bro. Why y'all trying to make... No, man. Kids gonna do what they see. Kids do what they see, period, bro. So, it, even if even if they don't have a kitchen set at their crib, if their cousin got a kitchen set, I'm pretty sure they're gonna probably go over to their cousin's house and play with the kitchen set. There's no way you can keep a child from... You're talking about buying... Buy, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. Yes, I get it. Some arguments are, yeah, buy your kid a, a toolbox. He needs a toolbox. Well, why the motherfucker can't cook nothing? I know plenty of guys who can cook fucking... Well, Willie Mitchell, UCF, fucking m m m cousin, husband, Daryl, my nigga Daryl. Come on, bro. There's plenty of niggas that can cook. What's wrong with having a kitchen set? I don't think it's I don't think it's feminine. I don't. I just don't. Would I buy my child a kitchen set? That's not the first thing I would buy him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, but I'm just saying it's not. <laughs> It's not feminine. I just don't think it's feminine, but I probably wouldn't buy him a kitchen set. I'd probably buy him something like a basketball hoop, something he want. You know what I'm saying? He ain't thinking about no fucking kitchen set. This nigga want a dinosaur. That's all I'm saying, bro. Let's, I, I'm not even, like, fuck the masculine. Let, let's, let's stop. Let, let's let kids be kids, okay? Let kids use their imaginations. Just because you're grown ass and then got old and you done forgot how it felt to play make-believe and, and life didn't hit your ass hard as fuck across the head. You got to pay bills. Now, don't don't forget that one time you was a kid and, yes, you did have an imagination. Come on, bro. Bro. I'm sorry I'm saying, bro, so much, y'all. But it's just, it just bad for me how, how, how people be, bro. Niggas be so fucking tough and forget that they was kids. Don't even know half the shit that they used to do. As kids, but you talking about it's gay to have uh they somebody raising a feminine nigga. Maybe if you was in your kid's life, you know what I'm saying, you wouldn't have to worry about a a a, a single mother raising a feminine child. That solves a fucking problem right there. You know what I'm saying? Be in your kid's life, you ain't got to worry about that feminine shit. And maybe you do. Who knows? Because it be some funny shit happening around these families. Yeah. Families molesting kids and shit like that. And yeah, but yeah, big cousins, all that shit. But that's neither here nor there. What I'm saying is being your kid's life and protect your kids. And you ain't going to have to worry about raising a feminine child. You know what I'm saying? Niggas talking about feminine duh. A cooking set food some shit we eat every day some shit you need to eat every day what feminine to cook to have a kitchen set nigga and i can see if you was buying a nigga a pink kitchen set which really we i mean if a pink kitchen set 
You know what I'm saying? A purple kitchen set with a bunch of dolls and shit. Yeah, and that's a problem, right? But if it's a it's a little, you know, little boy kitchen set, green, blue, white, yellow, whatever the colors, you know what I'm saying? So the fuck what? So what, bro? It's just another, oh, it's a big ass spider crawling across my shit. Oh, that bitch big. Hey, that's all I'm saying though, y'all boys. Let's, let's stop. Let's, let's please let kids be kids. It's not fair that y'all put kids under this pressure these days. Because yes, it, it is a lot of, L, it's, it's a lot more LGBTQ exposure than it was when we was growing up. Granted, yes. But, everything ain't gotta be gay, not gay. Let kids play, bro. Let kids play. Let kids be kids, bro. Be in your kid's life. Teach your kid right from wrong. I ain't saying being gay is right and being... I ain't saying that. But teach your kids the way that you want them to go. So that they may never stray looking ass. I don't really know it. That that damn, you know, I ain't been to church in a long time. But, you know, I remember that a little bit. Shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Te te uh, that's, that's the gist of it. Raise your kids in the way you want them to go. Then you ain't got to worry about that, my nigga. It's crazy, though. It's just crazy to me because people... I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, but I, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. Let kids be kids, all right? Um, yeah, that's it, man. I, I, th I, think, I think I did it. I'm at, I'm at the 37-minute mark right now, 37 and a half. So I think I'm going I'm, to I'm call it quits on this. As, as, as usual, man, I appreciate y'all boys for rocking with me today, man. I appreciate y'all for, for watching. Um, like subscribe tell me what you thinking tell me you know what i'm saying tell me your thoughts on these subjects that i'm talking about you know what i'm saying uh subscribe like i said share it yeah man let me know what y'all think man it's love i appreciate y'all boys for for rocking with me again like i said it's jay here i'll see y'all i say fucking might as well i say fucking might as well